Yes. In our previous session, we have discussed how the client will decide the application, how they will get license from product company, and how they will give this project to the service companies. These all are IT services companies. And once they get project, how they start recruitment of the consultants and what is the role of functional and what is the role of technical. And before start learning any of these modules, we are supposed to learn these two. First, we'll go for security console. First, we'll discuss what is security console. Security console is nothing but an environment where we will be managing the users and roles information. Whenever we implement this software to our client, whenever we implement this software to our client, our client employees are going to use this software. Our client employees will start using this software, right? They'll start log into the applications and start creating the transactions. Maybe receiving the items or issue the items or try to sell the goods to customers, this is all, right? So this client may be having some 10,000 employees, let's say, let's say MRF Corporation, their employee strength is 10,000. But all 10,000 employees will not use laptops or computers, right? Because their roles in the company different, but they are employees. We can say right from the basic level, it means there will be a security level employees, there will be a buyers, there will be a manufacturing areas, there will be a supervisors, there will be an analyst, there will be a different manufacturing managers, right? Like that. Let's say 10,000 employees are there. Out of that, client is telling us 4,000 employees will use the computers. Out of 4,000, only 2,000 employees are going to use Fusion application. So we have to create usernames and password for these 2,000 employees. That is our job only. As a functional consultant, we are supposed to create this users. There is a facility to create bulk users, or we can also have the data loading, or we can also create one by one user account. Okay, so this is how we are going to interact with the client. How many users they want have the user account that we are going to create. Where do we create the user account here? Security console security console. Even if the client is going to get license from Oracle Corporation, client is supposed to tell, client is supposed to tell how many users they are going to create in the application. This is mandatory. There will be an agreement. It doesn't mean that you have got subscription for the application. You can create n number of users because depends on the number of users, the product cost will be there. Product cost will be there. So it depends on the number of users. Client is supposed to tell how many users he is going to create. If Oracle find after some time, you have crossed the limit, then it is a legal agreement issue. Definitely legal agreement issue. That's the reason no client will cross the line as per the agreements, they will follow it. Now we are going to discuss how to create our own user account. Okay. Once we log into the application, we will enter our URL, username and password. If we want to create our own account, we are supposed to go to navigator menu. Go to navigator menu, tools menu, Go to Navigator menu, Tools menu, Security Console. Security Console. This is an environment where we will manage the users and the roles. In the interviews also, they will be asking us, what are the operations we will perform 
in security console environment. We will do only two operations. One is user management, another one is role management. When I say management, create, update, delete, and search all the actions we can perform. This is user management and this is roles management. When I go to user management, here is a button, add user account, add user account. Okay, so I'm going to mention that user account, SEM, last name is August, and whatever the password you would like to set, re-enter the password here. And without roles, user cannot log into the applications. Even if he log in, he will not be able to perform any actions. I'll show you. I'm going to log into the applications without having any roles. Let me log out from the current user and log in with this application, scm.august. And the password is this, log in here. See, we have not added any roles, but still user is able to log in. But user cannot perform any activity except having some basic information. User cannot access any business data. User cannot perform any business related program executions. User cannot run any business related reports or analytics, right? So th these things cannot be done, okay? So sometimes it's a very simple question. They may ask you, can you log into the applications without roles? Yes, we can log in, but we will not be able to perform any actions, okay? Now I'm going to add two roles to the user. We call it as implementation roles. Excuse me. We call it as implementation rules. As soon as we create a user account, the next step we are supposed to do is add implementation rules. What is role? How to create a role? We'll discuss in the next level because roles concept is common for any domain. So whenever we are working as a functional consultant or technical consultant, these two roles are required. What are the two roles? IT security manager. Another one is application implementation consultant. These two roles are required. Without having these two roles, you will not be able to do the setups. This role is required to perform the setups in application. This role is required to manage your user information and role information. For example, I have done some purchase order approval. I want to test it. Let's say we have configured employee and supervisor hierarchy. How can we test? We need to hire one employee, create a user account for employee. Then we need to hire a manager, create a user account for manager. Then we have to log in with the employee, create a purchase order. And let's see the notification is received by the manager or not. And manager is going to approve it. Sometimes manager is going to reject. Whether those information has been updated or not, that's what we are going to test, okay? So if you want to go for multiple users, multiple employees, Definitely, we need access to the security console. Okay, so we have done the first step. Now I'm going to do the second one, implementation roles. I'm going to add implementation roles. Go to navigator, tools menu, security console. Go to security console. Go to users tab here. Search for the user account, SEM dot, click on this, 
and go for edit add the roles what is the role name it security manage there will be a underscore copy somebody might have created the copy role but we don't use that okay so we'll be using always uh, the main role it security manager i'm adding here generally when we are working in the projects our team leader or on site coordinators it means client employees because client don't want to give the permission to perform all these admin related activities to offshore team right so we have to add ourselves uh, once we join in the project sorry once we join in the project client will create all these credentials and i they'll assign it to us application implementation consult two roles i have added implementation rules we call these two as implementation rules let's go for save and close now user is going to log in he'll be able to find both the roles let's log out from here scm.august and login the moment when user log into the applications he can check the user account has been populated with the roles or not where do we find the first role where do you test application sorry it security manager here go to navigator and we can find here from tools menu go to security console it means you got the permission to security console how will you test whether application implementation consultant role is applied for your user or not go to to user menu set up and maintenance this as i said this is all our work doing the functional setups and manage the application this is how we are supposed to add the basic roles to our user account called implementation roles it security manager and application implementation consultant role after that checking the roles here it is so i'm going to enter setup and maintenance this is what we call it as a fsm setup and maintenance environment is nothing but fsm fsm functional setup manager this environment we are going to call it as a functional setup manager we will be performing all our functional setups here <clears throat> once we perform all our functional setups here we will be testing from this navigator that that you will come to know in the next level when we are doing that okay so we have discussed about the security console part and we have seen how we can go for create our own user account and add the roles to our user account in the next session we'll talk about the fsm environment this environment we'll be discussing in our next session still we are in the basic level next session we'll talk about Thank you.